Hey y'all, what it do, what it be like? Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, thank you so much for clicking on this video. And if you're not already, please go down there and subscribe, hit the notification button so that you get notifications every time I upload a video. So if you saw my last video with that epic wash and go fail with that curl cream from Lusters, I am going to be reviewing another curl cream styler First of all, but just let me address this real quick, okay? I'm going to be reviewing Eden Body Works. Uh, why ain't nobody told me that this is a black-owned company? I have passed by this stuff in Walgreens and Target so many times and never knew that a sister made this. Y'all know I like to support my sisters. Why ain't nobody told me nothing? y'all come on anyway so this is what I'm going to be reviewing today um, I'm gonna be starting with their leave-in conditioner and then I'm gonna be going in with their natural curl defining cream so um, I am really hoping that I get better results on this here because as y'all know I am a gel girl okay my curls just flourish with gel they just do but I'm trying to step outside of the box and try some new things and now that I know that this is a black owned company if it works you know I'll be patronizing because you know I'm all about that support but I can't just be giving you my coins and and, and, and you got my curls looking messed up I did get yeah, you know it's gotta work still it's gotta work so anyway so if you want to see how I uh, get this done just keep watching all right, so I did not mention previously, but um, both of these products are both paraben-free and sulfate-free. So if you follow the Curly Girl method, this is for you. If you follow, they both, they also both have coconut oil, shea butter, and they have aloe vera juice in it, which I absolutely love. Aloe vera juice is both good for your hair and your scalp. So I'm loving that. So uh, but yeah, wait, y'all know I got to smell. Mm. I'll tell you one thing. If it don't work, it sure do smell good. All right, let me stop sniffing. So we, we, we always start with this back portion first. As y'all know, my hair is freshly washed and deep conditioned already. Y'all, <laughs> girl, they got some grace in a head. I'm just going to chalk that up to wisdom. That's what we're going to do. We still cute, we, you know. Yeah, we we, we got a little gray. This it's all right. It's all right. So I'm gonna be parting these in some sections just because uh I don't want to take too big of a section. It should be Lord have mercy. And we gonna bring this over here. Now I got my good water bottle and I put hot water in this because I am a low porosity girl and so um, hot water opens my cuticles to get the moisture in. So I'm just going to spray, spray this down a little bit. Y'all, I got this water bottle at Bed Bath & Beyond and it is everything. Y'all see that? You just spray one time and it just do that whole little good mist for you. See that? Okay, I'm probably spraying too much water because I'm getting excited. All right, Eating Body Works, let's see. Okay, I'm sorry, y'all. Y'all know I like to smell. It feels really good going on. It got, I could tell it got a lot of slip. All right, all right, Eating. Well, that didn't take much. I feel it's getting into my strands too so another thing is as a low porosity girl it is hard to get moisture into the strands now once you get it in there and you like seal it in you pretty much good as opposed to somebody who is high porosity where it's nothing to get moisture in it's just hard to keep it in because their cuticles are open and so just as fast as it goes in 
it can leave out. Whereas us low pole girls, we got to work a little harder to get the moisture in. But once we get it in, if we're using proper products and we're sealing it properly, you good. So, wow. It feels really, really good. I'm going to just go in with my little detangling brush and just gliding through. Now, that's one thing I love is a product that got some slip in it. All right. I ain't mad at all so far. Come on, Eden. I must just separate this these two pieces too because the back of my hair is uh it's a lot thicker than the front and so yeah i'll be having to really work in sections in the back This got so much slip. Wow, I'm impressed with this right here. I don't know how to curl cream, you know, with that last one, the, the leave-in conditioner was the good one and it was the curl cream that jacked me up. So we gonna see. You know I ain't gonna big it up already. You know, we, 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 we gonna see, we gonna see. also imperative that uh this back portion is more moisturized because i have two different curl types in my head so i don't know if you guys could ever tell through my videos or if you follow me on instagram but the front of my hair is 3c the back of my hair is more of a 4a pattern so it's thicker and the curls are tighter in the back um, so I really work to get this back portion, um, you know, moisturized. I wouldn't call it a trouble area, but, you know, that's just the area that I really like to make sure of it. All right. I'm going to tack this up so that it stays moisturized while I am doing the rest and I'm just gonna stop talking and let y'all listen to some music while I get the rest of this in my head. Cool, cool. <laughs> gonna smell it and like the other one this one smells so good all right well we know for sure that the leave-in is butter it got slip it worked good now let's just see what this is all about y'all know I always start in the back so we are leave-in conditioned I kind of like the way that looks just like that but no we got we got new girl cream so same thing, I'm just going to take small sections. Start with about that much. I'm sorry, it smells good. This is a lot creamier than I expected it to be. This is also a medium hold, so I'm not looking for it to get crunchy like I normally do. Um, but yeah. All right, I, you know, 
I don't even know if I really need to do, you know, another. I'm just going to do one anyway. I'm going to that. Because <laughs> I'm heavy handed, y'all. Y'all y'all know that. Just a, you know, a little extra. This is a curl cream, so I'm not going to get the same, you know, results as I would with a, a gel styler. But, oh, I like it. I like it. Okay, we gon' we gon' see. We gon' see. It's gonna do about that much. It's very smooth. It's very smooth. Like it's very smooth. And I'm really digging that. Wow. I have never been a curl cream person and if y'all watched that last video, like from the first application, I was like, eh, I don't know about this. <laughs> but this one, I'm eating body works. Y'all, what what y'all what y'all what y'all feeling about this? I'ma finish the rest of my head and we gon' we gon' come back with the verdict. All right, guys. Well, my hair is completely dry, and I must say, not bad. Eating body works, not bad. I like it. I would actually use it again. Um, there is like a slight, like I kind of like when you go like this, you feel like it's not, I wouldn't say greasy, but like you could feel, you know, like when you moisturize your skin with lotion and you kind of go over and you kind of feel it, something like that. But, um, yeah, I, I would, I would use it again. This is not bad. This is not bad at all. Um, yeah. All right. That leave-in is really amazing, and I do think that if I had applied more, you guys know I'm very heavy-handed with my products, and I actually was not as liberal with them today as I normally am, but I think if I applied more, um, I would have got even more definition, because there are some pieces that I didn't really put that much product on, which is my fault, but yeah, I like it. You know, you guys let me know. What you think in the comments?